Cheers and tears greeted World Championship gold medalist Ryan Brathwaite on his return home to Barbados. Brathwaite, who won the 110 meters hurdles at the World Championships in Berlin, Germany, stepped off a Virgin Atlantic flight at the Grantley Adams International Airport just after 1 p.m. on Thursday. He was met by his mother Angela Young and father Eugene Brathwaite, who embraced him warmly for several long moments. Scores of airport staff gathered just off the edge of the tarmac and cheered Ryan lustily as he entered the VIP lounge for a press conference. Head of the Amateur Athletic Association, Esther Maynard, said they could see from as many as five years ago that Brathwaite would achieve great things. We're all proud of you. We hope that you will be an inspiration for others to, to see that it is possible with talent and dedication that you can reach the world's pinnacle in athletics. Again, Ryan, congratulations. A touching moment came from first vice president of the Barbados Olympic Association, Ralph Johnson, who became openly emotional as he delivered his statement. When I saw the embrace that Ryan gave his dad, it moved me. Anyhow, that's over. I saw uh, Ryan in Beijing, and I could see that he had some tremendous promise. Acting Minister of Sports Irene Sandiford Garner, who like Brathwaite hails from St. Andrew, spoke of the effect his victory has had on the people of the parish. I was in Church Gap last night and I had to say this is like Christmas. Everybody was debushing, some people were finishing up, the painting, and I was smiling and a certain person said to me, you like, you fussy. I say, yeah, Christmas coming in the form of Ryan. In his comments, the man of the moment, Ryan Brathwaite, praised his parents and his first coach, Alwyn Babb. First, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, you know, they're always the best. My whole 21 years. Um, you know, Mr. Bob, I don't know, boy, <laughs> but so many years you used to be hiding. You can't practice, no, you don't come practice. Then he can't practice and, you know, hide, miss up some workouts, but Bob was still there for me. And if it wasn't for Mr. Bob, I wouldn't be even doing hurdles. I wouldn't even got technique. So I thank you, Mr. Bob, 100%, not even 100, 200, 300. And, uh, <laughs> and after the formalities, it was on to the motorcade for thousands of cheering Barbadians to hail their golden boy. Amanda Lynch Foster, News of the Nation.